everybody. My name is Darlene and I have Parkinson's. Today is Tuesday and we are going to do trying TikTok tastes and things. So we're going to see whether these things work. We're going to have an egg edition. So everything that I do is going to be with eggs. I'll have to pause a few times to change things around because I'm going to try four different hacks or whatever we want to call them. And uh, so I'm going to uh, also introduce you to a new member of my family and what else am I going to do? There was something else I was going to do. It'll come to me. I can't remember what it was. Anyway, let's do the very first egg hack. Okay. This one was for peeling an egg, a hard boiled egg. So we all know that when we do them in the Instapot, we put them in a nice bath that they peel lovely up after that. But this is supposed to be a different way of doing it. So take a jar. Got a little bit of water. I have a hard boiled egg here. Just right there, a hard boiled egg. And it's hot, so I'm gonna burn myself. Ouch. Okay, so now I've got it. Let's see. I can't see. I'm just gonna put the lid on. Alright, now it says go to town. Well, I think I got too much water. Hang on, I'm gonna go let some of this water out because it's not doing anything. Hang on. All right, we're back. I dumped some water up now. Let's try it. I don't think this is good. Oh yeah, it is. All right. So let's fish this out. Oh my goodness. Just a minute. I don't know. This is crazy. I'm having troubles today. You can tell why I don't have a very many subscribers when you see how silly I am. All right. So what this did was... It broke all this shell, so it's supposed to just come right off. Oh, this isn't good. Do not do this hack. This was not a good one. This, no, this is not good. This. I don't know if that was owner operator error. No, it's peeling all the way. Sorry. That one's not good. Owner operator error or whether that was just a bad hack, but that did not work. Okay, that's number one. Now let's do number two. This is uh, a raw egg. Okay, now I'm going to put this, you know what, I'm going to put you up on this stand because I need to tip you down so you can see this. Okay, just a second. Okay, I'm going to accomplish this eventually. All right, this one is called how to get a, a broken shell out of when you, when you break the shell, okay? So I'm gonna just purposely put some shell in here. Oh, it didn't go in there, so let's just break off a little piece. Okay, so we got a little piece of shell in there. And if you try to fish that out with your hand now, well, that's a very big one, but see, it, it, if, if it's smaller, Kind of chase it around the bowl and you're not really getting it out but if you take a shell it works like a magnet and you bring it down to that little piece and it just brings it out ever so nicely and then you see there's no there's no shell left back in that so that was number two now before i do number three um, let me just see. Oh, I know. I was going to introduce you to uh, a new member of my family. And I also want to take you into my kitchen and show you something else. Okay. So come with me. This is Chester. This is Chester, my newest turtle. Chester, because he has 
a chess or checkerboard on his back. So his name is Chester. He is made of onyx. And Claudine, my daughter Claudine, gave me this for Mother's Day. And she said, because I had packed away most of my other ones, I have the ones that I was given just recently that introduced you to, Bonnie and Clyde. And I have a couple of other little ones. And I have one that Claudine's friend Jody's mom gave to me, which was the penny bank. That's Dolly. And now I have Chester. And Chester is a very beautiful turtle. So that, that's what I was going to do there. And I'm going to take you into my kitchen and then I'm going to tell you a story. Well, two stories, actually. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is turn the camera around. The right way. Oh, Lee, silly here. Okay, I had it the right way. Here is my new KitchenAid mixer. Now, it is beautiful, absolutely beautiful, and I fell in love with it. I'm going to bring it back over. I fell in love with it. It was a used um, KitchenAid because I couldn't afford a new one. I've always wanted a KitchenAid. I've always wanted a KitchenAid, but have never been able to afford one. So I was, I've been watching for quite a while. I've been watching on Facebook Marketplace. And finally I found one. Now, unfortunately, I found one and the person that was selling it wasn't very nice. I'm sorry. Um, she seemed like a very, very nice person. And I... I, and I feel like I got taken advantage of a little bit. No, I can't say that. Um, hang on, I gotta think of what I'm gonna say because I don't wanna say that. If that's, that's not nice about, nice about her. Um, no, she maybe didn't know. I, I would say that she had taken advantage of me, but she may have not known. And if she didn't know, then it can happen to anybody. So unfortunately it happened to me, but I have it all solved, okay? So what happened was I tried to use it today to make a loaf of bread, which is what I want it for. And um, when I went to make the bread, the bowl would not stay on the mixer. It kept jumping off. And I thought, well, is this... And then I thought, well, maybe I had too much dough in the mixer. And I tried less dough. And then I tried just putting um, egg whites in to make meringue and it was still doing it. So I realized that the bowl wasn't locking into place. It was just sort of, if you went too far, it would keep on going. So I got the manual out um, from the online and I looked it up and whatnot. And apparently this is a common problem and um, it can happen to anybody. And uh, so what happens is the plate underneath the bowl or the bowl or both get worn. And when they get worn, um, or if the paddle is not low and, or uh, high enough in the bowl, if it's touching the bottom. So we adjusted it where the paddle wasn't touching the bottom, and th that still didn't solve the problem. So when it's worn like that, the only thing you can do is replace the bowl and the plate. So I have ordered those parts. They will be in on May the 24th or 25th. And uh, then we'll replace those and all will be well and whatnot. And I don't want it to shadow how excited I am to have this machine. I am very, very excited. And I don't want to shadow it with it. It was expensive to replace that bowl, but I did replace it and, um, and that will solve the problem. So that said, I am very happy to have that mixer. I'm very happy to have this turtle and uh, Bill and I are going to be celebrating an anniversary coming up here, and I'm going to invite you all to join us. We're going to share a meal with you. Um, and so then we should get on with these the rest of these TikTok hacks and see what works. So we know that the first one, peeling the eggshell, did not work. Taking the broken eggshell, it worked okay. Um, now I'm going to make uh, little muffin cups. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do here. And I'm going to... Just break these. I'm gonna have got one egg here. Oops, got one egg here. So I'm gonna only just keep one egg separate. I don't need it. And I'll put two eggs at a time in here. No, I'll do all four eggs and then I will um, come back. Oh, I, I bet you just where you can't see me. 
I've been having a couple of days here where I haven't been doing as well as I would like. So while I was feeling pretty good today, I thought I would do this. So I got up early this morning and uh, had a doctor's call early, early in the morning and got that over with and then decided I'd try this bread making and I made the buns, they're in the oven right now. I'll show you them when they come out. So I, I was able to mix the bread up, like I mean the dough up, it didn't get as long of a mix as I wanted it to. I'm gonna chop up some red and green peppers just to give it a little bit of color. Now I'm envisioning that this is gonna turn into something like an egg, egg bake or something. So now these will have to go in the oven. So I gotta wait for my buns to come out of the oven. So while I wait for the buns to come out of the oven, I will get these ready and then I'll come back because it won't be long for those buns to come out. Okay, we're back. Here, the, the buns are not quite ready. I had to set them for another five minutes. I cooked them for 22 minutes and I need to set them for another five. Okay, this is what's called a bain marie. It is just a greased, muffin type ramekin with some water in the, the base of this, okay? Now I've got some pre-cooked bacon here. I, I just cooked it up and I'm going to just line it around the base of this. And then I'm gonna put one piece on the bottom so that I kind of made a little, little cup with it. Oops, I think go around here. And this here, I'm going to do the same with. There we are. Okay, now, wet my fingers. So now I have two of these cups like this. I'm going to take this mixture. I'm going to just remix it. And I'm going to pour half in each one. All right, there we go. So we've got them like this. We're going to put them in the oven to bake. I'm going to bake them, didn't say what temperature or anything. So I think I'm going to do them at 375 and I'm going to do them probably for about 20 minutes and then I'll see how they're doing. All right, so I'll take the buttons out and I will put these in. Okay, here's the next one. I've almost cooked this too much. Hopefully it's going to be all right. Um, if not, it'll just give us the idea of what we're supposed to be doing. Okay, so I cooked sort of an egg, um, just beat up an egg, put some green onions in it, put it on to cook on one side. This is a way of flipping it. So you take a lid and you make sure that's loose and you slide it on like that. Then you put this over top of it and go like that and you've got it flipped. So I'm gonna stick a little piece of cheese on it. And I'll cover it with this just for a second. And then I'll put it on the plate. Bill will probably eat that. He's not uh, here right now. He went downstairs. I'm going to find this out. So he went downstairs. So let me get the buns out of the oven. And we'll see how they've turned out. Okay. Let me move you back a little so you can see. I'm not very organized today. Well, I'm never very organized, but I'm sure not organized today. Okay, so I'm going to turn that to there. Now I'm going to bring these out. There's the first pan. They're not super brown on the top, but the bottoms are done, so I'm sure that they're very well done. All right, now let's just take a little bit of butter. and brush the tops with some butter. You see what I'm doing here? 
Yeah. Okay. That just makes them look pretty. If you tap them on the top, you can hear that they're hollow sounding. That means that they're done. Now this bread dough recipe I got from Michelle over at Chickens by the Lake. And it is a excellent, excellent recipe. It's for loaves of bread, but you can make buns and sub buns, she said. So I thought I'd try this. We're gonna have sloppy joes for dinner, so buns it is. Now let me bring that over for you to take a look at. Don't you wish you could all come for dinner? I wish you could come for dinner. All right, now let's put this other one on a plate. There we go. And now I'm just gonna put my ramekins in the oven and I'll bring you back as soon as they're done. They have to cook for, what did I say I was gonna cook them for? 25 minutes? I'll try that. Is that Hang on, I don't know if that's working. You're getting close up on my face. Yes, it's working. Okay. I don't know why I thought it would be any different afterwards because I'm so disorganized today, it's crazy. Okay, so here is our little muffin cups. They're very hot right now. I did spray the tins. I'm just gonna try and loosen them. But I did, or not tins, I guess, or ramekins. I did spray the ramekins. Okay. So now let's try. Let's see. Let's bring this over to here. And see if it comes out. Boy, my hands are not working at all today. Uh, oh, it didn't come out. Oh, there it did. Yes, it did. Okay. It came out. I just have to take this off of here. Oh. Okay. Oh. Well, now, I didn't get it out very cleanly. It, there's still stuff left in there. But... I think that looks pretty good. I'll take this other one out. Even though it didn't come out cleanly, it was probably because I didn't have the bacon line good enough. I, I sort of had spots and left loose in the bacon. Okay, that came, that didn't come out better. I thought it was gonna say that came out better that time. There we go. Oh. So that's that one there. So, in review, the eggshell, taking out with another shell, that worked. Peeling the boiled egg in the jar did not work. Flipping the eggs worked, but I had cooked it a little bit much. And I think this worked, I would have to work on lining that better or greasing that better. So, sort of half worked, half didn't. Anyway, that's today's TikTok tastes and things. See you all tomorrow.